What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Big Boy Facts. Y'all ain't tonight gonna do my WWE SmackDown review. I always see that's new. Hit that like button, it helps you YouTube add the rhythm. Subscribe to my channel, find my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok down below in the description. And also go check, go also go check out my Why Is Undertaker Undertaker the Goat? I did a video yesterday, and that and that video did well yesterday. That's all I gotta say. But anyway, let's get let's get right to it. Smack the show opens with SmackDown champions on the stage together. Uh, Sands and Roman Reigns. So in the bed is in the ring and announced WWE return to touring show shows in July 16th, saying that five-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion Adam Pearce is out scattering venoms. She introduced the parade of champions, but Apollo Crews takes an I takes I issue with his introdu introduction intro introduction saying that he won't defend his title he'll be re re retaining his title and at least total destruction and annihilation on Big E Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens enter enter Paul Heyman which represents Roman Reigns he takes issues because Roman Reigns is a special boy and says Roman Roman will represent himself later Later then he doesn't have to share spotlight with this with this riff rap. Bailey enter enter Bailey. She complains about about not being include despite on uh, not being champion right now because of how because of how important she is. She called Bianca Bella out and mocks her stupid ponytail before claiming that she that she she's a Criminal, not a not a champion. She demands Sonya Sonya strip her of the title. Bianca Belair comes comes to the ring and tells her to go ahead and take the title if she wants it so bad. And Bailey begs off before Nia Jack and Shayna basically attack Bianca Belair from behind. Natalia and Tamina make the save and the uh, heels stand tall as we go to break. So we get Bailey, Nia Jack, and Shayna Baszler versus Bianca Belair, Natalia, and and Tamina. All right, it says I missed the I missed the return from commercial break, and the match in, is in progress. But the heels working Tamina over at length. Natalia tags in and gets a hot hope hot hot spot, but but is quickly isolated and worked over by the heels herself. Bella tags in, and tags in, and finally we get a proper hot tag. But Basler almost get her in the computer clutch. Backflip, backflip up and over. Their spine buster connects. Bianca Bella up top, but Shayna teammates pulls her out of the ring. Diving crossbody wipes them out, but Bella hurt her, her knee. And so we go to commercial break. Back from commercial break, Bailey is in control of Belair. Double, double choke, double chicken wing. Bianca gets away. High tag to Tamina. Tamina, um, Tamina with a snap scoop power slam. Tag to tag to Natalia. Big German suplex. Quick tag back. Cop, cop, cop pull into a super kick. Tamina with the cover. Bailey gets her hand, her hand on the ropes. Naha with. Natalia with the sharpshooter, but Shayna Baszler had a tag in. Tamina cuts her off with the head, but um, Natalia re um, applies, but gets denied. Bailey in to run interference, but she gets dropped by the disgust leg. Nia Jack with a pounce, Tamina with a can with a kick combo. Shayna kicks her head off. Bella with a right. Handspring. Bailey cuts her off. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey to Bailey on the floor. Natalia boots Bailey off the apron, and Shayna Baszler locks the Kafuya clutch in. The winner of the match: Bailey, Nia Jack, and Shayna Baszler. Then we get Biggie interview backstage. He he's in a good mood, and he puts over his opponent tonight because they the they the iron and to sharpen his iron. The very best to prove that he's among the the very best. And we go and so we go to break. Back from the break we get another 
bumper bumper about the return of the lit of the loud crowd in July 16. Thank God, I'm sick of this thunder dome. But anyway, another of Alistair Black's lesson from his father's falls. We get a montage montage of Shinsuke Nakamura adventures with King Corbin's stolen crown, and Corbin gets on the mic. He says he wasn't going to say anything and just let his actions do the talking. But he can't help himself and that was the most disrespectful thing he, he's ever seen and Nakamura is no king. He insults Shinsuke Nakamura cat and says he's going he's gonna to beat him and take his crown back. Enter Rick Bokes. Rick, Rick Bokes playing his control. That was very good. But I wish, he, I wish that would have happened in front of a live crowd. But this was good though. He says he came here to rock with the real king of SmackDown, Shinsuke Nakamura, and he and he plays him. And as we go to break, King Corbin versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I did not care about this match. Back from commercial, Corbin catches a kick and counters to a power bomb. Nope, hammer hammerlock punch in the corner. Half Nelson chinlock. Grinding Nakamura down. Elbow gets a near fall. Shinsuke gets a five, 550 roundhouse kick and a long blur off the ropes. Sliding King shots on land and, and wait. STO. N not not enough. Charging in Baron Corbin. Sidesteps big, big German suplex. Still no. Knee lift to break away off the ropes. Deep six catches him. Only two. Rick Bow Rick Rick, Rick Bowles play the tar end of end of day's counter. Shinsuke Nak the winner of the the winner of the match, Shinsuke Nakamura. Alright. With a small package. Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Baron Corbin with a King Baron Corbin with a small pack Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Baron Corbin with a small package. That's what I was trying to say. But anyway, Jimmy Uso is backstage chatting with Sonya Deville about the return of return of um um, Jimmy Uso. Alright, with Jay. It says Jimmy Uso is backstage chatting with Sonya Deville about the return, uh, return of the Usos. She she questions how much Jay is into the reunion, but Jimmy says his brother has hit has his back and they want the street profits. Sonya, Sonya says a mass of that has to be advertised. So next week it will be the Usos. Versus the Street Profits. That match itself, will, that tag team match between the Usos versus the Street, the Street Profits will be a great match next week. I guarantee you. Enter Roman Reigns, flanked by Jay Uso and Paul Heyman, as usual, to send us to break. Back from back from commercial, Kevin Owens cuts a promo backstage. Um, he he harkens back to when he was called the Fire Spider and says he's going to live up to to that nickname tonight and he doesn't care what it what it takes he'll do it. We get a Cesaro slash Seth Rollins video package. Meanwhile the Thunderdome has reached a fever uh, reach a fever fever pitch of only sucks chance and the big dog gets on the mic. He says he believes himself to a to be a humble man, and he takes and he takes very very opportunity to teach his son about human humility. He doesn't like to brag on on live television, so he's gonna let Paul celebrate him. Paul Paul Heyman puts him over in as undefeated and runs down the list of men he's beaten before. Asking Roman Reigns if there's anything else he can do for, for him, and Reigns asks him to bring Jimmy Uso here. Paul cuts. Paul, Paul calls for Jimmy Uso to be brought down, but instead Uso makes his entrance arm in a sling. He says he's been looking for looking for Seth Rollins and couldn't find him. But instead, he heard this annoying yapping in his ear and realized it was Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns asked what he wants him to do. Break the other arm? Cesaro says it's a flesh round, round and, and he beat Roman Reigns one-handed one anyways. So why not go again at hell and they said if you're a man enough? 
took all his blind shots since I and beats him down. The referee pulls them pulls them apart and Seth goes to leave but returns and goes after Cesaro's injured arm some more black black uh, blackout blackout on the ramp. Rollins goes to to leave again but then returns and hits hits a second curb stomp right right on the diamond uh, diamond plate. A stretcher comes down for the Swiss Superman Cesaro and we go to commercial break. Like I said, when, when, when Cesaro gets healthy, Cesaro's going to get some payback against Seth Rollins. Watch, I tell you. Matt Mooney said it himself. So, shout out to Matt Mooney. So, Matt Mooney, if you're watching this, watching this video, shout out to you, man. But anyway, back from, back from commercial. We get a recap of what we just saw. Seth Rollins is interviewed backstage and claims he didn't know what happened and he blacked out. Cesaro is rolled past him and he freaks out and grabs him by the by the lapel screaming and asking him why he makes him do this and when he's gonna learn before the paramedics manage to push this all past him. Robert Rude cuts a promo where he tells Dominic Mysterio to not let his win go to his head because he can't lean on his dad. Tonight he he's gonna prove once and for all that Dom Dom doesn't belong here. So we get Dom Dominic Mysterio versus Robert Roode. This match this match was decent. Robert Roode Robert Roode with a suplex almost immediately another one. And third, the Rey Mysterio Dominic Mysterio reverses into a small package for two. With across shoulder third sending Dominic up top, jogging jog, jogging for position. Mr. Dominic Mysterio shoves him off, diving crossbody. Nope. Back gap or tornado DET block. Robert Rude with a power bomb lift, but Dominic Mysterio reverse reverse to a Frankenstein that puts him on the second. Dom Ziggler runs interference. Ray Mysterio fights him off for his son. Robert Rude sits down sits down into a pin for two. Side step to chain to charge. Robert Rude eats the post 619 connects by Dominic Mysterio up top. The winner of the match, Dominic Dominic Mysterio. This match was decent. Jay Uso is walking backstage when Jimmy Uso rolls up to tell him about the Street Profits match next week. Jay, Jay Uso complains about him booking him in tag matches without his approval, but Jimmy Uso tells him to man up. This isn't about Roman Reigns. This is about them. Jay says he has to tell Roman about the match, and he owns him. He owns him as as much. And so we go to commercial. Back back from the break, Jay Uso is explaining the tag match. Jimmy Jimmy Uso booked, but when he when he says he's got the Street Profits, Roman Reigns takes issue with that. He calls him selfish. Roman Reigns tells him not to forget that it's it's the two of them that represents the family. Hugs him and tells him something we can't quite hear. The street prophet the street prophets get a get a promo and they make fun of the Usos family Us family's issues. Sami Zayn in, is interviewed in a interview in a gorilla about his match. He takes issues with being reminded of his past failure and calls Caleb Bryson a corporate hack and a prog page pink prog page and this. Sammy saying and Kevin Owens make their make their entrance and and send us to break. Back from the back from commercial we get we get some hype for next week's show. So we get Apollo Cruz versus Big E versus Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. This fatal four-way match was really good. That's all I gotta say. It was really good. Big E and, and Apollo Crews brought in the ring to start with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn final on the floor. Kevin Owens back inside Instagram drop but drops Big E but Sami blindsides him and beats him down right after. 
Choking Kevin Owens on the second rope. Big E pops up and, and pulls Sami Zayn to the floor. Clubbing and blows on the apron. A, a right hand for Apollo as he comes over and Big E throws him up on the apron so so he can get some get some too. Double big splash on the apron. Kevin Owens off the ropes. Big man top top corn blow blow sends us to break. Back from back from the break. Apollo Crews lays Big E out with a drop kick and ends up brawling with Kevin Owens on the floor. Apollo with a moonsault off the apron. Sammy cuts him off, cuts him off, hits a his own moonsault off the barricade. Connects to connects and Kevin Owens fights time trains him. Up up top, Santa Atomic. Atomic Atomic. Big E breaks it up. A bit of chaos. Sammy Zayn with a with the corner exploder. Kevin Owens dumped the pull of a kick, but Sammy plants him with, with a Monchoku driver. Nope. Alvarez finished Fisherman Buster from Kevin Owens. Um, Cruz breaks it up. Um, he and Biggie, he, he and Big get back into it. Cut the suicide spear off with a knee. Apron stunner block. Um, Apollo with a death volley driver on the apron. Big E hits the suicide spear on on Cruz and we go to go to break. Back on commercial break. Apollo Cruz is beating Big E down in the ring. Near fall off a suplex. Apollo blasts Kevin Owens off the apron, cuts Sami Zayn off, and beats Big E down in the middle of the ring. Big E with belly to belly suplex suplexes for for everybody off the ropes. Sammy cuts him off with a hula of a kick. And but Kevin Owens puts him off the ropes. Pop up, power bomb denied. Half and half denied. Steam break, steam breaker for two. Okay. Um, Kevin Owens and Apollo Crews jump in for position in the turnbuckle. Sami Zayn cuts Crews off with a jawbreaker with reverse boot block. Apollo looking for the head and leg capture suplex. And Biggie comes from behind to German suplex them both. Fall splash from Owens. Biggie kicks out. Kevin Owens running wild, running wild cannonball on a stack up Cruz and Kevin Owens. But Sami Zayn hits in half and half and falls with with the Blue Thunder driver. Still no. The match breaks down. Kevin Owens with a pop up power bomb. So close. Rolling on the floor. Sami Zayn pulls Kevin Owens out and hits. A half Nelson suplex on the floor. Head head inside. Biggie gets him with the rock with the rock bottom flow out of in the Olympic slam. Biggie big ending. Commander Aziz pulls Biggie out of the ring and beats him down. Biggie puts him into the ring. Ring post and gets away. Um, Biggie Biggie in the ring and something goes weird with the lights. Alter Black is. Alistair Black is here. He slides into the ring. Apollo Crews grabs Big E's leg. Black Mass knocks Big E out. Leaving the ring. It says the winner and still your Intercontinental Champion, Apollo Crews. Post match. Apollo Crews posts with the Intercontinental title while Alistair Black looks on. And SmackDown went off the air. Um, Like I said, man. SmackDown. SmackDown was a pretty good show, but anyway, um, I'm so glad that July 16th we can finally get the crowd back. I'm sick of this Thunderdome like I said earlier. But anyway, if you guys are doing my WWE SmackDown review on how please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to my channel and um, follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok down below in the description. Um, you guys have a great night. and You guys have a great night. Stay safe. And um, stay strong and always stay positive. Make sure you go, make sure you guys go check out my why is Undertaker Undertaker the goat video. That video did so well, man. That's all I gotta say from here. But this your boy B Boy Facts Johnny. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys this Monday on my WWE Raw review and highlights. I'll talk to you guys later, and I'm out of here. Good night, everybody.